Welcome back to Amethyst Adventures and good morning to you. Today is actually my first recorded video of the year. So let me take this opportunity to wish you a happy, blessed, and prosperous new year. I hope that your new year is off to a great start. Today, I have a packed video for you because I am doing the Christmas takedown and winter reset of my home. I'm also so excited because my birthday is in two days and Big D surprised me with a trip to the Bahamas. So I, in addition to all I am doing to pack up for Christmas, I'm also packing us off to the Bahamas and stay tuned for the highlight video, which will be coming soon. So let me get right to work. I'm starting this morning in the family room. And here's a quick look at what my family room Christmas decor was. I did not do a Christmas tour this year, but I did show you all of my Christmas decor during the 12 days of Christmas. Let me welcome you again to Amethyst Adventures. My name is Courtney and I love sharing my love of decorating DIYs, thrift lips, shopping hauls, everything purple, and so much more. Honey, you are getting the whole lifestyle right here. So if you enjoy that type of content, you have reached the right channel. Sit back and relax while I get busy, and I'll talk to you in just a little bit.
moving right along. Next up is the kitchen. So I'm removing all of the decor and because I use a flock garland in the kitchen, big mistake, won't do that again. I have flocking and glitter everywhere. I had to vacuum and wipe down all of the cabinets and on top of the cabinets and I'm sure it'll be going on for months to come. I have seen times in June I am still vacuuming and sweeping up pine needles, garland, and flocking. Tell me if this happens in your house. Let me know in those comments. So I'm replacing the decor on top of my cabinets and I'm using wrought iron with white accents. So let me know what you think about this completed area in those comments. I brought the purple rug in from the living room and I'm replacing my chair covers with the white ones that I started off the season with. I also updated my curtains in this room to white curtains and added purple decor in my shelving towers. Let me know what you think in those comments. Next up is the living room. Getting the big tree down and packed into its storage bag. And then I'm gonna reset the living room with some white decor. I'm leaving the same white snowflake pillows on the couch and I'm leaving the bar set as it was, just removing the Christmas trees and some other Christmas items from the room.
Lastly, I removed all of the Christmas decor from the front porch. I did leave my white poinsettias, my giant lantern with the snowman in for winter decor, but I removed all of the Christmas items. Now it's time to get everything packed up and out to the shed. Okay, so in these bins, I have all the things that I did not use this year. So I'm gonna go through and see what I still wanna keep and make a donation pile. So let me get ready. I promised you today's video was going to be a flurry of activity. So if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up and consider joining the Amethyst Adventures family. It's free, it's quick, and haunted. It's easy. Just go ahead and click on that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching, and there's Big D packing it all away for next year. And I'll see you next time.